Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. Today in this short video lecture I will guide you how to calculate depth of foundation with the help of Rankine's formula. Because I saw many people they don't know how to calculate depth of foundation. Sometimes they keep the depth of foundation about 50 centimeter, sometimes 1 meter, sometimes 1.5 meter, but they don't calculate the structure load, they don't know about the bearing capacity of soil. So, therefore, today uh, with this proper formula, which is uh, called Rankine's formula, we will uh, I will guide you to find depth of foundation. So, let's get started. If this video is helpful for you, so you may like this video. Guys, you can see to find depth of foundation, we will use the proper formula which is Rankine's formula and you can see this is the Rankine formula this so d is equal p by w into 1 minus sin theta divided by 1 plus sin theta squared okay so here now what is depth d this one okay so d means depth of foundation okay the next one we have a P, so P means bearing capacity of soil. As you know, we have different types of soils. For different types of soil, we have different bearing capacity. Okay. So remember, guys, the depth of foundation should be in the meter. In meter. Right. The next one is P means bearing capacity of soil. So the bearing capacity of soil is n kg per meter square this is bearing capacity of soil and for different soil we have different bearing capacity the next one we have w so w means density of soil so the de density of soil means unit weight of soil okay so the unit weight of soil as you know which is n kg per meter cube because this is density okay and here uh, we have the density of the soil from uh, 1800 to 2200 kg per meter cube right and this is theta angle so this is angle of repose or internal friction of soil internal friction of soil okay so here guys remember we uh, so uh, I show you here all these things which uh, we have in the formula so these are uh, its uh, its meanings okay so here now what is angle of uh, so what is the depth of foundation guys here you can see this is uh, uh, this is G level ground level so here this is depth of foundation d is equal depth of foundation the next one is bearing capacity of soil as i told you n kg per meter square we have uh, bearing capacity of soil for example i am using the normal soil which uh, bearing capacity is for example uh, bearing capacity sbc soil bearing capacity about 10000 kg per meter square okay so for normal soil I'm using okay so first of all if you don't know about uh, the bearing capacity of soil and what types are uh, different types of soil and its capacity you can check okay online but I have already did a video uh, different types of soil and its bearing capacity so uh, the video is below in the description of this video okay so here guys uh, the next one we have density of soil as I told you from 1800 to 2200 we have the uh, density of soil so now what is angle of repose so the angle of repose is here guys you can see this is ground level okay and here guys you can see this is the soil so when you uh, place the soil on the uh, ground level so here it makes the angle it makes angle so it means this is bearing uh, this is angle of repose okay so this is soil guys this okay so sometimes it makes uh, maximum angle sometime minimum angle so it's depend on the different types of soil but normally guys uh, we have from 20, uh, 15 to 15 to 40 angle it can make okay 
So it's depend on the different types of soil. So let me put here uh, the angle of repose for this soil is for example uh, 15 degree. Okay, the theta is 15. So let me put the value in this formula uh, for depth of foundation. What should be the depth of foundation? Okay, so D is equal P. For example, I have the bearing capacity of soil which is 10,000. So 10,000 divided by W. W is density of soil in kg per meter cube. So let me put it here 1800 uh, kg per meter cube. Okay, now one minus sign. So the place of theta I am putting here 15 degree angle of repose or inter internal friction of soil. So now uh, 15 divided by 1 plus sine theta. Again, I am putting here 15 degree and square. When you do calculation with the help of calculator, you will get the value this one d is equal 1.5 1.92 meters so the depth should be 1.92 meter okay this should be the depth of foundation if the bearing capacity is 10000 per square meter if the density is 1800 per kg uh, per uh, n kg per meter cube angle of repose is 15 then you will uh, put or uh, you will use 1.92 meter depth of foundation okay so now guys what is the minimum depth depth of foundation from is uh, standard the minimum depth depth of foundation should not be less than 500 centimeter 500 centimeter or 0.5 meter okay so this is minimum depth okay it should not be less than 500 centimeter okay from is code okay so guys this is the topic about rankin's formula to calculate depth of foundation maybe this video can help you so thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye